Come down, everyone. Come down, everyone. Welcome to Cooking with Chris. And on today's episode, we're going to be making some no-bake cookies, but with a twist. So, put on your chef's hat, put on an apron if you want to, and join me. Because these are going to be freaking delicious. And they're great because they're so freaking simple. So, I already pre-melted um, half a cup of butter, one stick. I already measured out three cups of oats. I'm using quick oats. They're the ones that are in smaller, finer pieces. You can use regular oats if you want to. I just have found that I tend to like these better. Um, I also mixed together three tablespoons of cocoa with two cups of sugar. I know it looks like cinnamon and sugar, but trust me, it's not. Although, that could be a good prank. Um, we also have some optional things that we will probably be putting into at least part of our batch. Um, and that includes peanut butter, coconut flakes. You can toast them if you want. I usually don't. And then secret ingredient. Whether you add these other two is up to you, but I recommend adding this. Marshmallows. If you have not made no bakes, and added some marshmallows to it and melted it in, you're missing out. Um, it changes the texture slightly, it makes it more tacky. You know how like after like two or three days, if you have any leftovers, they just get dry and hard and just not as good. These will extend the life of them quite a bit so that they don't, yeah, become dry turds. So anyways, we are going to mix our sugar concoction, sugar and cocoa concoction with our butter. The reason I pre-mixed it is because sometimes like cocoa and you know, other things like brown sugar or whatnot, like to clump up. This is just regular granulated sugar, not brown sugar. But so I do this to get many, uh, most of them big clumps out. You don't want a big lump of but when you're eating, eating a cookie. So mix that roughly. And we also need to pop in half a cup of milk. You guys may be asking, Chris, why are you using boxed milk? Because it works. It has a really long shelf life. So it's really nice to have in your food storage. This one's not promoted, but this is Gosner's. Check them out. They got a whole slew of different flavors of milk. We used to go to the freaking factory uh, and uh, they used to have like free tasters and whatnot and they also had cheese. So you could just go there and try like 20 different flavors of milk and like a bunch of different cheeses. It was freaking amazing. So I'm just gonna rough mix this together. And then we're going to microwave it for roughly three minutes. Do not let it go the entire three minutes without stirring it, or you'll probably burn stuff, depending on the settings of your microwave. Also, let's contain my hair a little bit. Ugh. Yeah. That's better. Octopus hat for the win. Pass in the microwave. Okay, while that's microwaving, uh, you can kind of just do whatever you want. You can piddle around on your phone. I can't right now, because it's recording me. Um, you can eat a snack. Although, like I said, don't get too distracted because you don't want to burn your stuff. So every 30, 45 seconds, stir that stuff more so as it gets towards the end of the three minutes. Yeah.
And we just want to make sure that the sugar is incorporated, that it's not granuli it's still granules in there. Because when you do that, it uh, makes it much more higher likelihood of it, the, the entire cookie will granulate. It's like when you make raw candy, you know, you make the sugar water solution, you put the popsicle stick over it with a string on it, with a washer or something dangling in there, and then it adheres to the string after you've dipped it in uh, the sugar. Because sugar crystals, if there's existing crystals, they bind with others around it. So, little science stuff with it going on. I'm waiting. I need some marshmallows because these things are freaking delicious. Oh, don't get too distracted. Also, scrape the sides down a little bit. Some people don't do that, and I'm like, there's less material on the sides. It's gonna burn there pretty quick. Done with the milk, we can pop that away. Another cooking tip, clean as you go. If you don't need something anymore, clean it up. That way it's much easier at the end, because nobody likes to do a bunch of baking or cooking or whatnot and then at the end you got this freaking mountain of dishes and then you're just like feel so depleted and you're just like Ugh. If you clean up as you go your uh the likelihood of you baking something again will increase dramatically Yo ho de hidey ho, it is almost done, yeah. Let me just pop in these dry ingredients and uh, some of these optional ingredients while it's still warm and then they'll just incorporate as we're stirring it. Um, I do recommend putting these other ingredients first before you put the oats, except for the coconut flakes, that doesn't really matter. But you'll get a better incorporation because the oats, you know, they're big and clunky and so. Do that. Come on, baby. Woo! That's hot. Hot pet. Burning my fingers. Burning my digits. This, uh, the amount of these that you're gonna add is totally optional to you. I'm a big fan of peanut butter. I'm a big fan of marshmallows. I love coconut. So I'm gonna do a handful, which is roughly, actually, go big or go home. I love the mallows. I don't recommend starting off with this many mallows, but for me, let's do it. Uh, you, maybe about half a cup. Me, I'm going close to three quarters. Psych, changed my mind, full. Don't care. Cooking is about having fun and finding what you like. If you're not experimenting, you're not living. A big dollop of peanut butter also adds extra protein. So if you're trying to get your kids to like bulk up or whatnot, or just not be scrawny little demons, add peanut butter to your different desserts. Uh, that was probably about two tablespoons. If you find that this isn't melting as fast as you'd like, you could um, pop it in the microwave for a little bit longer. I'd only do it at like intervals of like 20, maybe 30 seconds. Cause like I said again, you don't want to burn it. I mean, you've already put in, I mean, not you haven't put in tons of work, but it always sucks when you are making something and it, you screw up, but. Again, that's just part of the experience. You live and you learn. I've been baking for years and years. I actually used to work at a bakery. Yeah. 
I can't say I really miss that. I'm not a weird odd hours. And oh, the pots you have to clean. I could literally bathe in. They're huge. Although you can make a crap ton of cookies at once. That was a nice thing. And we got to eat any of the things that weren't made properly. So if someone messed up or there were some deformed, ugly looking cookies or whatever, maybe, or if there were extras, our boss would just be like, Woo, spilling. I didn't see anything. He would just be like, yeah, help yourselves. Also, my boss was freaking awesome. He's so funny. Well, he was. Like, I mean, he's still alive, but I obviously don't work there anymore. Because I'm no longer living in that area. Coconut. This is also is optional. Um, some people don't like massive flakes of coconut in their stuff. I understand that. You could uh, put these in maybe like a food processor or something and blist them down into smaller pieces if you don't like that. I kind of enjoy the texture. Let's do about half a cup. We got the mallows in. We got the peanut butter. We got the coconut flakes. Time to add in our three cups of oats. Yeah, also my my bakery boss would always start food fights. <laughs> it was so random. You'd be out in uh in the back of the bakery washing something or doing something, all of a sudden you'd just get hit in the face by like a roll of dough or whatnot. It was usually doughs or like a cookie. Like a, he'd throw them like freaking frisbees at you. Good times, good times. Okay, let's make sure we get it all nice incorporated and incorporated. We don't want any pockets of those dry oats because, I mean, who wants to be eating plain oats? Like, seriously. You got to get the flavor on all the bits and pieces. And yet, like I said earlier, you can... Experiment with other flavors if you want. You can add a dash of vanilla if you want to go for that. Add other flavoring things. You can add Nutella. That'd be pretty good, probably. But now we got a pan and our scoop. Um, this is oh man, probably maybe a number. doesn't say on it usually they say this is this is a pretty small scoop like look at it in comparison to my thumb although i have sausage fingers so that's not a very good comparison it's probably like a little over a teaspoon i mean not a teaspoon a tablespoon that's those compared you can do them bigger i like them bite size they're quick and easy on the go uh, lots of people use aluminum foil for this. I'm just pooping them onto this non-stick mat. These are uh, ones I actually really like and they were super cheap. I got them at like Walmart or something. Used them hundreds of times. Freaking love them. You save so much money on freaking aluminum foil doing it this way. And parchment paper too. So we scoop these out. Look at him. Don't they look luxurious? Oh, it's falling apart. Don't do that, dude. If you wanted to make them into bars, just pour the thing out, spread it out evenly, and then you can chop them up and disperse them that way. I find usually cookies are the easiest method. Also, the most important thing while you're cooking, you got to try your stuff. Mmm. Stuck in my beard a little bit. Flavor saver for later. You can taste just a hint of the coconut. I might actually add a little bit more coconut 
because like I said, I like coconut. You can kind of feel the little bit of tackiness from the marshmallows, and there's just a hint of peanut butter. That's the thing. Don't overpower it. Unless you insanely are in love with peanut butter, don't go overboard with the peanut butter because it's a very potent, overpowering flavor. So uh, then you just let these dry out somewhat and enjoy. Or you can just eat them plain like me. Or don't give them time. Just eat them nice and fresh. Mm. Just, just, just do it. Your taste buds will thank you. Anyways, take care. Have a good one. This is my first video like this, so if you enjoyed it, leave a like or a comment. And I'll be sure to make more cooking videos because I got a slew of different recipes I like to make. And I have to pat myself on the back. Some of them are pretty dang darn delicious, if you know what I mean. So, have a good day. Catch you guys on the next one.